So this oven cooker has two of these thermal cutouts. One there, one there, one running the upper cover, uh, upper oven, and this one the main oven. Really easy to uh, test and replace. Let's pull the wiring off. Remember which side goes which. You connect your multimeter to it. Set to continuity. You should get a very low own reading short circuit and continuity buzzer. Showing you this working. Same with the top one. Let's pull the wires off, check the continuity. To replace it on this one, the easiest one, it's just uh, one screw. And then it pulls out. Obviously to refit you have to do it in reverse. Everything's harder one handed but I'll try it. So that's it with them, really easy job, easy to test and even easier to replace. If your temperature gets too hot in here, inside the cooker, it'll, separate, it'll obviously open up so the circuit's broken. And then I don't know if they reset the cells or you just have to replace them, but Eventually they will wear out and need replacing if they operate quite a lot. That's it. Easy job. This one's got two screws on it. But the same sort of thing really.